What's up, yo? This is like a second part of my uh, trip to Bangkok Aquarium, which is actually in the shop, inside the shopping center. So what do you guys think, huh? This is a... Uh, this is like a native Asian tank. Check out the giant... Uh, the giant snake hat. I remember like 10 years ago, they used to be sold everywhere in the United States as babies. Until suddenly you released them. And now they're invasive and banned everywhere. Honestly, I think uh, I think this specific snake had looked kind of funky. I don't know if it's too old or what. Oh yeah, and this tiger fish, the death noise. It just seemed kind of stressed. The collars are kind of worn out. Not sure what's going on with it. It was pretty big, but it just it just doesn't look healthy to me. I am not a tiger fish expert, but it just seems very pale. Where's the color? Well, yeah, and that. Uh, it's one of those predatory catfish from Asia. I keep seeing it in photos on the Monster Fish Keepers uh, forums and groups on Facebook. I totally forget its name. Um, I forgot. I, it was really neat. I think it's a she's catfish. Could be. And this is a giant tank uh, full of tilapia, African tilapia. I didn't even realize that tilapia get that huge. It's the same tilapia that we eat. They're actually invasive in many places now, in the US and in Europe, and in Asia, I guess. Because they're being farmed for food and they keep escaping, so. And these guys will eat anything. Kind of neat. This is a sea otter exhibit, but I felt bad for sea otters. They're in a completely enclosed environment. Like this is indoors. They don't see. They don't see sky. They don't see a sun. They just they're stuck there. But they are very amusing little guys. Kind of feel bad for them. So playful. This is a monstrous tank with monstrous fish. That's what I keep a uh, giant Asian freshwater stingray. He's actually in the back. He's gonna come up with a few in a second. So they have giant black pakus, gator gars, uh, what else? Pegasus catfish, and our pimus, and uh, the giant carp. I think it's a grass carp, but I'm not sure. I'm not a carp expert. This is actually not a very professional tank for a public aquarium because they just threw a bunch of fish in there from different countries and different continents. Because you have like pacus from South America, North American gars, or pimas from South America, Asian catfish, you know, and of course uh, the Asian stingray, freshwater stingray. I'm not sure what they're thinking. But that's Asia, yeah, they don't really care. And that's like an, an albino or lutino, uh, a lutino uh, Pegasus catfish. I couldn't even tell if it's albino or not because I couldn't see the eyes. And a 
Papus were ginormous. If you guys ever go to PetSmart, they still sell Pacos, baby Pacos. For what? Who's gonna keep them? And they had a few of those Arpimas. Which I must say, this tank has like um, two of the largest freshwater, freshwater fish in the world. Well, I guess Arpima is the longest freshwater fish. And Asian freshwater stingray is um, arguably one of the heaviest ones. Supposedly, uh, these freshwater stingrays can get up to uh, a ton. They can weigh up to a ton. So it's actually like a toss up right now. There's an argument which freshwater fish is the heaviest. It's between the Asian giant freshwater stingray, European Wells catfish, and Mekong catfish. It seems they can't really decide which one gets the most weight because they keep finding different specimens that are bigger. Oh yeah, there's, there's a stingray. It, it's huge, but I think it's a baby. They get much, much larger. I mean, it's one of the fresh. It's one of the largest freshwater fish in the world. So. And this guy just didn't seem happy. He seemed kind of stressed as well. He spent a lot of his time in the back. I'm guessing he doesn't really like his fish tank because it doesn't have sand. That is nasty gravel. Can't really bury itself for protection. So I felt really bad for him. You know, despite them having all the school fish in this aquarium, in this specific aquarium, I just, I don't know, it just seemed kind of uncamped somehow. I don't know, I can't put my finger on it, just, fish just didn't seem happy. I don't know, I think they should have like put sand in there. In this aquarium, saltwater fish are better kept than freshwater. I don't understand why, because it takes more effort to keep saltwater fish. But almost every saltwater fish I've seen in this Bangkok aquarium seems happier and healthier. And the aquariums, the marine aquariums actually look better stocked and maintained, have, have better decor. They also have one of those tunnels. It seems like every public aquarium now has a tunnels fish. This one's just kind of nice. Overall, I think um, I think Bank Aquarium suffers the same problem as other aquariums. Is they keep like only most common fish. Other than the giant crabs and the giant freshwater stingray, like I couldn't, I didn't see anything special here. Like no exotic fish other than this too. Which is too bad, you know. If I had millions of dollars to build my own aquarium, I would definitely put some more exotic stuff in. And as always, exits through a gift shop buy a bunch of stupid useless crap. That's why I hate aquariums sometimes. I wonder if they stuff dog show penguin for this. It looks real. I know, no, no. Won't put it past them. Traditional Thai mermaids. Traditional Thai snakes. Pretty dangerous. Oh yeah, this is like um, it's a smoking whale, so it's a cigar. Apparently they live here in Thailand too. Of course, uh, 
Hermit crabs? Actually, I was gonna buy it, but I looked at the price tag, and it's 780 bucks. Let's just put it into perspective that to get into the aquarium, I paid 700 bucks. So this is like way, way expensive to weigh like uh, almost 30 bucks. No way. I better get like a real hermit crab and stuff. As opposed to buying this one. It's a stuffed baby seal. You Canadians can recognize it. You guys clubbing to death every year. <laughs> Please stop doing that.